across the country. Problems that have plagued the farming and agricultural industry have become worse during the COVID-19 pandemic. Labor shortages increased, and several farmers had to lay waste to hundreds of crops due to unreliability in the supply chain. As farmers start to rebuild after the pandemic, many of them are turning towards automation and robotics. Can farmers create a more reliable and cost-effective infrastructure by creating a system that relies on data-powered automation, even help combat the food crisis around the world? Find out now in Mechanical Engineering Magazine's Special Report. The farming and agricultural industry has had its fair share of problems over the last decade. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, these problems only became worse. The pandemic of the novel coronavirus exposed systemic problems within several industries. Manufacturing and shipping plants could not maintain the social distancing guidelines or provide the necessary amount of personal protective equipment to protect their workers. In response, the industry has turned to automation as a solution. The future of automation and robotics and agriculture can help the growing labor crisis, reduce the production cost, and most importantly, control the unpredictable risk in agriculture. Food waste is one of the significant problems plaguing the farming industry. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates every year people throw out 40 million tons of food, resulting in a $161 billion loss. With the COVID-19 pandemic, it only got worse. The food supply chain is fragmented into two. We have one for grocery stores and the other for food service restaurants. And the reason is package sizes. Restaurants receive flour in 50 pound bags, sugar, they get liquid eggs, they get cheeses in 10 pound bags, but as we consumers get all these items in much smaller package sizes from supermarkets. And there are dedicated facilities and machinery uh, for different package sizes. And the reason is for speed. If you consider a machine that is capable of producing 50 pound bag versus one pound bag, that machine would be slower, which means the unit production cost would be more expensive. And to make things more faster and cheaper, that's how the supply chain ended up being fragmented like this. And this became a problem during the pandemic because once the restaurants were closed, they stopped ordering from their suppliers, which are processing facilities, and facilities stopped ordering from the farms, and that caused all the inventory to accumulate on the farm side, which got wasted. The total economic impact for the farm industry could be a $1.32 billion loss from March to May. Along with a troubling supply chain, the farming industry has been battling labor shortages for several years now. About 73% of the farm labor force is foreign-born. Many of them are seasonal, and half of them come on H-2A visas, while the other half are undocumented. The increase in COVID-19 cases has significantly impacted the labor force. In the meatpacking industry, where many workers find themselves in confined spaces, 50% of the workforce had positive cases. The federal government has tried to maintain a steady flow of migrant workers, waiving interview requirements and exempting them from the temporary immigration ban. They are not protected from infection, however. To handle these risks as the agricultural industry moves forward, automation can be introduced to create flexibility and help reduce the reliance of an unstable workforce. Today's automation has been defined mainly by row crop farming with large machinery, dedicated to producing such crops as wheat. Novel methods of farming are being developed by combining automation and robotics to create locally grown farmed goods for all year round protection. Farm tech startups raised $4.7 billion in 2019. Novel farming startups, such as automated greenhouses, 
raised $945 million venture capital in 2019, a 37% increase in funding year over year. Iron Ox received $20 million in venture capital for its indoor robotic greenhouse farming system. The system is an automated greenhouse that can grow over 50 varieties of leafy greens and vegetables hydroponically all year round. Automation in farming can help bring produce closer to people. Several of the produce that people buy in stores today have traveled almost 2,000 miles before it reaches the grocery store, which can result in more food waste. Local automated greenhouse farms, like the ones developed by Root AI, can develop systems to handle the entire growing process, from seed to packaging, closer to major population areas, and flexible enough to handle disruptions. Root AI was founded with the vision of securing the world's food supply. Today, the way in which we farm is very, very exposed to volatility in weather, volatility in closed borders, lack of access to labor, and at the same time is being done in a way that's unsustainable. You know, over the course of my life, 33% of the world's arable land has simply been lost. And what we have is a vision around a robotics and artificial intelligence infused advanced farm that allows the world to have reliable food production for the future. Their robotic harvesting technology, Virgo, was based on the human body. It grips the produce and uses an embedding and twisting motion so the robotic fingers and the wrist mimic the human hand to achieve that perfect pick by design. All of this is done in the robot in real time without relying on remote access to a data center. Automation is not only limited to produce farming. Lely was founded in the Netherlands and for over 70 years has introduced new mechanized methods to help eliminate redundant processes or labor requirements on the farm, particularly in dairy farming. Lely's automatic dairy milking process uses automation and artificial intelligence for cows to feed and milk themselves. If you look at the, the current A5 astronaut model that's, uh, that we're marketing today, it is the fifth generation milking robot that was introduced uh, over 25 years ago. You know, if you look at the advances that are on that system today, compared to even in, in the last 10 years, the, the level of sensor technology, the accuracy of the data points that we're now collecting, we're collecting well over 100 data points per animal per milking. And we're using that data in, in just new and innovative ways that I don't think any of us ever dreamed even 10 or 15 years ago when I got back into the industry that we'd be able to do today. And I think we're monitoring milk quality data, animal health data, reproductive data, all the things that really try and help the producer make better decisions, not only about that animal, but also about the overall operation and how that operation is functioning. When a cow walks into the milking unit, a laser ranging system performs a 3D scan to locate the optimal position to attach the milking unit to the udder. The mechatronics and kinematic systems move it into position. The whole process takes five to six minutes. Within three weeks, about 85 to 90% of the cows start to understand the automated process naturally. Using this system, farmers can see a 10 to 15% increase in milk production. Similar to the produce farming market, the dairy farmers were also plagued by labor issues. Labor is one of the main drivers in controlling price, and by using automation, dairy farmers can gain greater control over their operation. The COVID-19 pandemic has given dairy farmers a front row seat to what real volatility can look like in a commodity market. In the case of dairy production, automation technology can dramatically help them change their supply side. Whenever a, a crisis happens, one, one of the crisis management says, you know, okay, you, you manage through it, and then you do an analysis backwards to see what risks were identified, what pitfalls weren't we aware of, uh, and then you start trying to make adjustments so that if, if it happens again or when it happens again, let's say, uh, you're able to better respond. And I think a lot of us in the industry and certainly the dairy industry and dairy producers are, are going through that process even as we speak. And by no means are we through the, the, the crisis, but I think we also have enough uh, data over the last you know three, four, five months, whatever it's been, to really identify some of those areas. With automation and data analytics systems, 
dairy producers can establish some fixed costs and decision-making power on how to scale their supply chain in response to drastic changes in the market. Data analytics would allow farmers to manage the herd individually and manage milk production to meet demand as it fluctuates. Ultimately, automation in agriculture can provide greater and smarter control to the farmers. In a world struggling to feed many, especially during natural disasters and pandemics, the ability to produce sustainable food for all is crucial and a noble endeavor.